Hi, I'm Dev and I'm a first year dental student at Sophia Medical University and I'm here to tell you about my experience. My schedule at uni includes um, a lecture for every subject and a seminar for every subject. So um, the lecture gives you the theoretical knowledge that you need for the sem seminar and the seminar gives you the practical aspect of the subject. Lectures at this university isn't compulsory, however it's highly advised to go to them as um, they do provide the theoretical knowledge and it gives you, um, it, it prepares you for the seminar. Um, however, seminars are compulsory and depending on the subject you're only allowed to have one or two absences and that too with a good reason. If you don't go to all the seminars um, or you have a lot of absences then you won't get your signatures and they are vital to go into the next year and all the signatures are recorded in um, your student Kanushka. For every subject you need a signature from your lecturer and also one from your professor, um, seminar professor and this is vital to get into second year, along with your um, exams, of course. The grading system at this university works in a number system. So two is a fail, three is a pass, and six is the maximum that you can get. The exams at this university are oral, um, most of them are oral anyway, and that means you find out the results straight away. So if you find out if you've passed or failed, and if you fail, there are some reset sessions in the summer, and there are some more throughout, throughout the year. For dental students, it is essential that you pass dental specific subjects. So for example, in first year, it's vital that we pass um, dental materials before second year in order to get into second year. Regarding all the other preclinical exams, you're only allowed to carry two failed exams into the second year. And you have to make sure that you pass all of the exams by third year so that you can go into clinicals at fourth year to sixth year. Before you come here, um, I would advise to buy a lab coat. Um, personally, I ordered mine from Amazon, but here there's a lot of shops around where you can actually get your lab coat um, and get it. As for books, um, personally, I came here and decided what books to get for each subject. But if you want to read around your topic, I would advise, for example, Ken Herb for anatomy or Khan Academy for medical physics and medical chemistry. Just to keep in mind, um, it is essential to wear a lab coat to almost all of your seminars, obviously not for Bulgarian and Latin. Um, and also for dental prosthetics, you're also required to buy some extra additional stuff for your practicals. However, I'll talk about that in a few seconds. In first semester, my schedule for uni was actually quite spread out. So even though I had a lot of early mornings, um, some 8 a.m.s, um, the seminars that I had and lectures I had throughout the day were not as packed as second semester. Um, however, second semester was very, very varied. Like one day I had an 8am to 6pm with a couple of breaks in between, but I would go home absolutely exhausted. But other days I would only be in uni for an hour and a half or two hours. We have dental materials in the first semester and the second semester of first year and we have the exam at the end of second semester and the exam is actually practical, oral and written. So the practical exam it consists of mixing several impression materials or they'll ask you to um, tell you the composition of specific um, materials um, and then the written is sort of the theoretical basis of this. Afterwards, there's an oral exam where they'll really, really test you um, that you know everything about it and they'll ask you questions to dig in deeper to the basis of your knowledge. One of the requirements for our course of dental materials was um, learning the composition of lots of materials. So the percentages and the chemical um, compositions. And for this, I had to use my flashcards as it was all memory. As for dental prosthetics, we've had it throughout this year and we will have our final exam at the end of next year and it's a subject that is purely practical. In first semester, our first practical included um, carving teeth out of soap three times the size and this was to learn the anatomy of the tooth. So our second practical included using the technique of Thomas Wax and here we were required to buy um, the wax and we were also required to buy the different Thomas instruments, for example, um, these instruments. And then finally we were assessed on this technique. In our final um, practical of the year, it was actually quite a big project. So we um, learned how to use the different gypsum 
um, types, so for example type 4 gypsum and type 1 gypsum. And um, on this model we had to do four full um, metal crowns. So we did two premolars and two molars. And it included um, a lot of um, learning about the burrs that you use in the hand pieces. So for example these um, steel burrs, diamond burrs and we have rubber burrs over here. And um, then finally we were assessed upon the crowns and the quality of the crowns and if they were polished to their standard. Dental students have three hours of Bulgarian a week and this is in order to um, prepare us for clinicals where we have to converse with Bulgarian patients. The exam for Bulgarian is both oral and written and it's held at the end of each year and we require to use this textbook um, studying from it and it's the one that our professor has provided us with. So our course for Latin is actually in first semester and second semester and then we have the exam at the end of second semester and it's a written exam so it consists of long answer, short answer, um, translations and multiple choice and the course, general course in Latin um, actually covers sort of general Latin such as declensions um, we have Greek term elements and then we also go um, deep into medical terminology for Latin. As a preparation for my Latin exam um, personally, I just kept doing exercises of terminology because um, for me it was a lot of memorisation and I felt like that was the best way to prepare for it. So dental students have biology in first semester and second semester and it is a very heavy course. It has immunology, molecular biology, um, basic bent biology, parasitology and also comparative anatomy. Again, the exam is oral. But before you can get into the oral test, you have to do a stop test. So a stop test is essentially a written exam and you get eight questions and you have to pass four of them to get into the oral stage. However, if you don't pass the stop test the first time, they will take you to a panel and there they will assess your knowledge further and see if you can go into the oral exam. As for anatomy, um, my exam is actually in third semester. However, we've been studying it for first semester and second semester. And I plan to prepare for it by going into the university and looking at cadavers to make sure I know the structures. And um, before that, I will hope to look at my atlas and my textbook to know the background information that I need to know for the exam. The cytology exam consisted of an oral exam and a practical exam. So we did the practical exam before and it was basically microscope work where you had to identify structures, the staining and the functions of what you had to say. After that it was the oral exam. For the oral exam we had to pick a ticket for our questions. So we got three questions for each subtopic of the exam and then we also picked a ticket for our examiners. For the practical exam, the way I prepared was that I learnt the theoretical knowledge of the um, slides and then I would go to the slide room in the university to make sure that I really know the structures and that I really know each slide off by heart. Our course in physics covers a lot of general physics such as structure of solid, liquids, um, laminar flow, turbulent flow. Um, and also goes into depth into medical physics, such as learning about CT scans, x-rays, um, microscopes and lenses, for example. The final exam in physics is oral, and for preparation I just used my notes that I made throughout the semester. For chemistry, we had one seminar per week and also one lecture per week. We were expected to learn um, quite a lot of structures for the exams, which we were helped with um, in the seminar, and also how you conduct specific experiments. Personally for me, chemistry was one of the easier subjects, as most of the content um, I covered in high school, so I didn't have to do that much preparation for it, for example for cytology or biology. Biochemistry, again, we have once a week. We start it in second semester and we carry it on in third semester and second year and our exam is at the end of third year. We had a um, medical informatics in second semester and it is also known as computer science and we were assessed on using the programmes SPSS and Microsoft Access and these are programmes that um, doctors or dentists essentially use to, um, for research on very large databases. In second semester we also have sports for an hour a week and that consists of, well, you can choose, so you can do badminton, volleyball, table tennis, um, go to the gym 
and at the end of the semester you actually have an exam and they test how many sit-ups you can do, push-ups, um, your running, grip strength and they also test um, your long jump. And essentially this is for um, promoting a healthy lifestyle throughout university. One thing I would definitely advise you guys is that make notes well in advance. Um, I definitely learnt this the hard way um, and it will avoid you cramming for the exams. Personally for me, I definitely found second semester harder than first semester. There was a lot more pressure in second semester as I had to pass a dental specific subject to get into the next year. Regarding holidays, we usually get a week off in Christmas and maybe a long weekend in Easter. However, we can talk to our seminar professors and organise some seminars in advance so that we can get some more days off. As for summer, uh, we get two months off in first year. I think that's the longest period of time we will get off at the, in this course. Um, however, we are required to do half a month for work experience. You have the option to do the internship in Bulgaria or also back at home in the UK or a country of your choice. Um, personally, I'm doing it at a general dental practice um, to get some clinical experience. Overall, um, I've thoroughly enjoyed my first year of dental school here, although it has been very stressful at times. So I would thoroughly advise to keep on top of your work so you're not pushed for time um, right near the exams. And also to enjoy your free time. Um, look at the beautiful sights of Sofia, try new cuisines, and um, I wish you the best of luck for your journey here.